Oh my god. Alright, let's try this again. I just recorded the whole thing on the wrong fucking microphone. Let's just let's just get on with it. Hello and welcome to the thing where I talk about some shit and this that. How about those things? Blah 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 blah. Basically my last video I was working on got all fucky and I think it was due to stress and I just got burnt out, so I just took a tiny break. Sorry for the delay. Now I know these video reviews aren't probably gonna get many views, but I think it's essential that everyone know my opinions on these things because, as we all know, I'm a very important person in the community and everyone holds me to a high regard, just much like how people look at George Clooney or this fucking Star Wars guy who was in that Gucci movie. I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it has to do with style and clothes and fantasy star. It's probably a great movie. Whatever. Anyways, it's a pretty simple process. I look at all the tickets we got this month, and I get real mad because for some reason they didn't add in the right clobber gauntlet, which means we only got the left one, and if you notice, the right hand is actually the dominant hand when using the fist weapon. Oh cool, psych, thanks, I'll just use my meat and bones to punch these monsters. While my other hand's sitting nice and comfy in this robo glove. I don't even use my left hand to jerk off, let alone right. I guess yelling and screaming won't solve the issue, but I think it's important that I do it to demonstrate that at least I tried. Voice memories. For some reason, the NGS dev team decided to not give us some kind of way to test and preview the audio in the game. I guess it's fine. Anybody who even likes this game or even cares about these friggin' scratch tickets will often go to the website during maintenance just to see what's coming in the new scratch ticket anyways. I think what I wanted in some way was to use images or icons to demonstrate what kind of voices were actually in this ticket. I mean, there's 200 of them. Maybe using little tiny graphics like a, like an old man, an angry man, a mature female, super super cute female, something, <laughs> something just to, to visually demonstrate what the voice is in this gigantic list. But Sega, you basically lost out on earning some extra profit because people kind of had to go out of their way to even know what the hell they were even buying in this batch. Probably had to use a notepad of some sorts because, you know, I did. And you know what, I'll give it a C for only having to scratch five times to eventually get the voice I want, you know, after doing a bunch of homework. Mag, weapon, camo, memory, yeah, thanks for uh, reminding me. Oh yeah, we got another revival! Ah, ah, no, no, but I'm not even gonna bother with this one. It's great that new players got a chance at getting these weapon camos, but I'm pretty sure that this list is pretty far from being anything refreshing. Is there any way we can get a mag ticket when they're a little more useful? Will I ever stop being mad at the devs for not using all of those old base weapon assets in PSO2? Probably not. New Year throwback collection. No, 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 no. I already tore your ass a new one. Go sit back on the bench. Maybe come back. You know what? Don't even f come back. All you do is bum everyone out. This gets clearly an F. No, you don't even get it, Greg. Get the fuck out of here. Everybody's tired of your shit. So am I. Finally, something worth complaining about. So is it just me? Or did they just spend that sweet quality dev time on two somewhat similar outfit designs? The reason I even mention it like this is because when I'm looking at an outfit design, I'm usually looking at the overall silhouette of it. Players are dashing around 100 miles an hour acting like NASCAR and living statues, AFKing everywhere. It would be kind of somewhat hard to notice the difference between these two. Honestly, I just wish they would have spent more time working on a completely different outfit and then giving me the other one later. Other than that, I think I'm Really happy with the other stuff we got. I think everything that wasn't the outfits this time got a chance to shine. You know, looking at the rest of this ticket, it's nice that we've been getting a lot of Japanese style uh, dressings with long fabrics and male robe attire that feels more royal and less feminine. But I think at this point, we've got enough of that. Can we please, for the love of God, just for once, just just one time, get a legit classic samurai outfit. It's been four years since global release, and the only one we got was an emission pass that you can't even use a color pass on. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone who's actually Japanese samurai armor is just so fourth century. I'm just not getting with the time. <laughs> just kidding. How do you katana as an entire class weapon in your video game and, and barely include classic Japanese battle armor? Man, I still can't get over this. This thing gets a very dishonorable B. I'm glad we finally got some new cast armor. No, 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 no. no that's not cast armor. This is cast armor. Yes. Okay, let's just get on to the thing we wanted anyways. You know what? I'm not even gonna make an analogy because I can't think of one anyway. This fucking ticket was put in our faces like, uh, something. I still can't think of an analogy. But listen, it, it took a long ass time to get something that actually felt like it was cool. You want to know why 
Everyone was so hyped for this stuff. It's because postmodern futuristic clothing is, is actually something that's really flexible for character customization. The more wild, unique outfits we get, the more you have to work around the outfit rather than the outfit working around what you want to do with. If you give me something ordinary and plain that I can throw stuff onto, then I can add things to make it more of what I want it to be for me. But when you've got a very complicated, unique outfit with all these little intricate designs, chances are whatever I throw onto it better match whatever fits that outfit rather than showing off my own style. Basically, the more unique out- <coughs> Damn, it's killing my throat. Basically, the more unique outfit, the more I gotta work around it. Less unique outfit, the more I can make it my own. Also, you see this shit? Don't ever do that again. For a while there, I thought you were actually gonna ruin a completely good suit design. Oh, come on, man. When are you gonna fix this shit? What do you guys test your character outfits on? On the flip side, I guess you guys kind of killed it this time with the outfits. Not only that, we got a good list of accessories and motions. This ticket definitely deserves a very well earned C B plus. Oh, you think it deserves an A? <laughs> very fun. You want an A, then the whole bowl of macaroni's gotta be good. I ain't gonna let you take a dump of my dog and call it a day, you son of a bitch. I'm just kidding. I love you, Fantasy Star. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I put that in, but I think I just got bored with talking about video game clothes. I'll still be trying to pump out a video every week. If you so happen to make it to the end of this video and like what you watched, please like and subscribe.